How's it going, everyone? Mega Masher is here, and it's time for yet another Pokemon special review video because one of my awesome subscribers wants me to do Blaziken, so my friend, you are going to get your wish! Woo! So Blaziken in 5th generation was banned to Ubers. You're probably wondering why that is. Well, it's because of a very, in my opinion, busted ability known as Speed Boost. And I'll get into that and everything else about Blaziken in this video. So strap yourselves in for a wild and fiery ride through the review of Blaziken. So here it is, guys. Blaziken. Blaziken, to, to this day, still is one of my favorite all-time Pokemon. And with good reason, the design being just one of them. It's typing, firefighting being another one of them. And although you are weak to the likes of flying, ground, water, and psychic... You have a 4 times resistance to bug, and a 2 times resistance to steel, fire, grass, ice, and dark. So when you compare your resist resistances to weaknesses, I'd say you're doing alright. Now let's take a look at its abilities. The first one it gets, Blaze. Blaze is a pretty standard ability amongst fire starters, and what Blaze does is it increases the power of your fire type moves by 50% when you're at a third of your health or below. But that pales in comparison to Speed Boost, which is its hidden ability that it got back in the 5th generation. And also got it put on the chopping block and banned to Ubers. It's known as Speed Boost. And what Speed Boost does is, at the end of every turn, it boosts your speed by one stage. So just think about that for a second. Speed Boost is also very abusable. Well, if that's even a word. But it's easy to abuse. Because of the fact that you can just simply use Protect on the first turn and get a huge speed jump on your opponents. And then there was Sword Stance and then Baton Pass and yeah, you, you, get, you get the story. So let's just take a look at the stats here. So it has 80 on the HP, 120 on the attack, 70 in both the defense and special defense, 110 on the special attack and 80 in the speed. Now, in Uber standards, the best stat that stands out would be its base 120 attack. And its defenses slash bulk is not that good. And even its speed is kind of underwhelming at first. But after a couple of speed boosts, maybe not so much. This thing is even capable of taking on Pokemon in the Ubers tier. It's that good. So with that being said, I'm going to move on. But wait a minute. Holy shit. As if this thing wasn't powerful enough, it gets a Mega Evolution. A Mega Evolution. What the fuck is that shit, man? Well, you know what? I can't review regular Blaziken without reviewing Mega Blaziken, so how about we jump and review Mega Blaziken right quick? Woo! Yeah. That is something that you really don't want to come across in a dark alley because this thing will beat the shit out of you and roast you to a crisp. Oh, man. So, it still retains its typing, that being fire and fighting, and its ability in its Mega Evolution is the ever-so-broken Speed Boost. So that means that not only can this thing safely Mega Evolve by using Protect, but it can also get off a nice Speed Boost and then just completely annihilate teams. So let's just take a look at the stats here. So, obviously, its HP hasn't changed, and a disclaimer, the HP upon Mega Evolving never changes. It'd be kind of cool if it did, but sadly, for right now, there's no Mega Pokemon that has a difference in its HP. So, taking a look at the attack, it's now base 160. Base 160! Like, what the fuck, man? That is crazy. Its defense and special defense get a nice little buff. They're both at base 80. Its special attack goes from 110 to 130, and its speed goes from 80 to 100. So now... This thing has a respectable speed tier that can be further boosted by speed boost. That means that you can run something like an Adamant Nature on Mega Blaziken. And with an Adamant Nature, with max investment, its attack is 460 at level 100. Factor in the fact that you can easily set up a sword stance. Oh man, it gets over 900 attack, it's, it's over. It is over. So, with that being said, I'm going to go over the only set idea that is viable, in my opinion, for Blaziken slash Mega Blaziken, 
in the Uber tier, so let's go. So even though that this is the only good set to use on Blaziken, it does not make it a bad Pokemon by any stretch of the imagination. You underestimate this thing in battle regardless, and you will be destroyed. So, the item for choice for Blaziken, you can either go with its Blaziken Knight to achieve Mega Evolution in battle, or you can go with Life Orb to allow you to slightly get the out damage on B Mega Blaziken with regular Blaziken. Now, the ability that we'll be using is Speed Boost, because that is the only good ability to use on Mega Blaziken. And as for the EV spread, 252 is going to go into attack, 4 into defense, and 252 into speed, and we'll be going with an adamant nature because there's no need for you to go with the speed boosting nature due to the fact that, well, speed boost is going to boost your speed regardless. So, you're not going to be outsped for very long. So, the first move that we have, you can either go with protect to allow you to not only mega evolve safely if you're using Blaziken Knight, but regardless, you will be able to get a safe speed boost and get a huge speed jump on your opponents. The next move that we have is Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz is a very, very powerful move to use on Blaziken. It's base 120, it's physical, it's stab, and also has a nifty 10% chance of burning your opponents. But please be aware, this thing does have recoils, so it's going to wear you down pretty quickly. The next move that we have is Low Kick. Low Kick is, in my opinion, more safer to use and better to use than High Jump Kick. Even though it has a slightly lower base power than High Jump Kick, because, well, High Jump Kick has base 130 power, and Low Kick is maxed out at base 120, depending on how heavy your opponent is, Low Kick has no recoil, whereas High Jump Kick does have recoil in the sense that if you miss in any way, shape, and form, or if an opponent protects, then you lose half your health. That's not good. So low kick, definitely the safer of the two options. The last move, we have Stone Edge or Knock Off. Stone Edge nails the likes of Mega Salamence, as well as Ho-Oh, Lugia, Eveltal, just to name a few. And those Pokemon will definitely cause you problems. However, we do have Knock Off, Knockoff is a very good move to have, considering that even after a Sword Stance boost, you're going to be able to cause some severe damage to the likes of Giratina, even though if it you go against the likes of Giratina Origin, where it's not going to do that much because it's not going to get the knockoff boost due to the fact that its Grisius Orb cannot be knocked off, uh, it's still going to cause a lot of damage, and from a boosted base 160 power, if you're going to be using Mega Blaziken, that's going to hurt like a bitch. So that's basically all I have to say about this moveset. I will say, in the first move slot, I have Swords Dance there. Now the reason for Swords Dance is obviously to boost your attack by two stages. Uh, so if you feel confident and you feel that you can Mega Evolve safely, or if you can predict the Switch or something like that, and use Swords Dance on the Switch then you're pretty much going to be good to go, regardless of whether you're Mega Blaziken or regular Blaziken. But you can't go wrong with either one of these choices. And that's basically all I have to say about this set for the two awesome Pokemon being Blaziken and Mega Blaziken. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use Blaziken and Mega Blaziken. Kind of like a two-for-one deal. And if you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to leave a like and share this video and this channel to all of your friends as it really helps out. If you want to see more videos like the one that you just saw, then feel free to hit up that subscribe button and join the Mega Express today. Also, be sure to leave me your feedback in the comments section down below. Tell me what you liked about this video, tell me what you didn't like about this video, tell me something I missed, and tell me your thoughts about this Pokemon as to whether or not you use it. Also. Be sure to leave me your requests in any way, shape, and form, whether it be in the comments section down below, or personal message me, or what have you. I am always taking requests. Also, be sure to check out Poketown and Cat's Epic Pokemon Cloning Group, which are two amazing groups on Facebook that I urge you guys to check out. You will not regret it. Thanks for watching this video, have a good one, and I shall see you guys next upload.